श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्तबिंद समित श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछाकल्पतरुश कृपा सिंधु बवच पति पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोतिचाल पंगु लंघैतगिरी जत्की पातमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सज कृष्णभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो धीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने च सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगो वरुण धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचनु तम शरण्यम वेत्तात्म पुनुपालीपूत वंदे महापुरष ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवनखचंदमि छटा विस्फुजीत किमी गोबूशिवदर्शी पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधिक कृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाम बरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पंकज सुरासुरबंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदाशीत भावान्ण सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगमदापहार वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुस्वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवीत सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम हरे आराधित यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम नाराधित यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम अंतर्बिर यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम नातर्बिर यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम आराधित यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम नाराधित यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम अंतर्बिर यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम नातर्बिर यदि हरि तपसा ततस्किम गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभा परमंश जगतगुरु सेट दैट मायावादी दे कैन के क्लेम देम सेल्फ एज अ टॉप मोस्ट रेरान सेठी वी हैव ग्रेट वैराग्य इन आवर लाइफ वी आर ग्रेट वैराग्य नो बॉडी कैन एक्सीड आस नो बॉडी कैन गो आप वी आर द टॉप मोस्ट लाइक डेमो डेयर क्राइम गौरिय गोष्ठीपति सुशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत भोपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दे दोज मायावादी इज द ऑलवेज क्लेम वी आर द टॉप मोस्ट रेन रेनान सेट नो बॉडी कैन गो बियॉन्ड हाउस बट एक्चुअली दे आर टॉप मोस्ट सेंस एंड यू हैर वॉट यू से यस दे आर टॉप मोस्ट सेंस यू हैर दे आर बिजी विथ कामिनी कांचन एक्सटर्नली दे आर नॉट टचिंग एनी गोल्ड दे आर नॉट टचिंग एनी एनीथिंग एनी प्रॉपर्टी बट इंटरनली दे आर ऑलवेज बिजी डूइंग योशित संगा internally they are always busy with joseph sangha whereas at pas whereas as per gauriyo siddhant vichar it is the most vital thing asat sangha tyage vishnavachar joshish sangha tyage vishnavachar is the vital thing but they think we are out of any no matter there with us but matter is there they cannot detect what do you mean by joshi sangha what do you mean by joshi sangha joshi sangha mean people think people thinking that we are not uh, going for any bad association that is mean you know any stri sangha adi we are not doing so we are free but joshi literal meaning you are going to catch that way but inner meaning very deep inner meaning of joshi sangha not only women association or for women nothing that inner meaning is very deep inner meaning is that anything in your life you are feeling attraction for that objective you have attachment for that thing that is joshit for you suppose you like to uh, gather money all money i heard different minister different people they are stealing money billions of dollar i am thinking how long they can live and how much money they need to lead their life why they are stealing so much what they can do What is the utility of Maya? I don't know. Some Maya, eh, all crores of rupees. Eh? What they can do? How long they can live? How much eh, money you need to lead your life? I don't. I cannot understand. Why people after taking sannyasi, after taking acharya, see billions of dollars, still they are not feeling detested. Very test, testy. Money, 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 sweeter than honey. they collecting they are not feeling oh enough of it not speaking so if you are interested to collect money that's mean money is joshit for you money is joshit for you if you are interested about name fame very much you want people people give clapping and appreciate you all the time 
If you think that appreciation, that glorification by common people is Joseph for you. He likes to get the enjoyment. Follow. This way, all money, position, anything, gold, ornament, even building, even flower. This kind of feeling our Sadhananda Swami can realize. Suppose you are morning time, suppose you are in the morning time traveling in, a, in your garden and you find one very nice rose and uh, taking the rose, ah, very nice. That is Joseph for you. That rose becomes Joseph for you because you like to enjoy. Ah, so nice. People you can see they are using costly cosmetic or you know essence in the body. That is Joseph for them. Whatever thing you are accepting as your enjoyment, that is Joseph. Not only, not only woman Joseph for you. But those Matajis, if they are feeling attraction for man, that is their Joseph Sangha. But literally you can find Joseph means three, but not that. If one, if one Mataji feeling attraction for any sannyasi Brahmachari, for her it is Joseph. The Joseph Sangha conception is very deep. So, Prabhupada speaking, those Mayabadi, they are very much interested to, to, uh, uh, to get the chair of Brahma. Yesterday I told. They like to acquire, they like to get the chair, occupy the chair of Brahma. So, they are topmost Yoshi Sangi. They are topmost Yoshi Sangi because they are going to take the chair of Brahma. They like to occupy the chair of Brahma. Those who like to acquire the chair of Guru, they are Mayavadi. They are Mayavadi actually, be sure. But externally you cannot find. Externally some tasty philosophy can make you full. So Prabhupada, Prabhupada in Gauriya Patrika, in Gauriya Patrika, Prabhupada used to always type two sloka from Rasamrita Sindhu. Always. Whenever Gauriya Patrika publishing, you can find in the cover page two sloka. That is very important. And that's why Prabhupada used to put this always in the front page. Many times I discussed, but still also I can discuss before entering into the Vedanta chapter. Because then you can clarify your point. Prapanchi kataya buddhya hari sammandi vastuno mumuk shovir parityago vairagyam palgu kathati. Anasakta savisayana yathar hum puyanyata kishna sammandi yuktam vairagyam uchyati. Two sloka. Prapanchi kataya buddhya with material conception you are going to reject all, everything. Reject. Everything you reject. Prapanchi kataya buddhya. With material conception, you are going to throw everything. I don't need. I am actually Vairagya. You are thinking, I am Vairagya. Renounce it. Oh, yeah, I don't need no gold or no. no. You get. This one to prove. They want to prove I am great renunciated because I am going to reject everything. See my detachment. But the question is not detachment or attachment. Question is there, the relationship with Krishna. How best possible way you can utilize your property, your body, mind, your belongings, how best possible way you can use for Bhagavan Seva. That is most important. We are less interested about. Bhairag, what I can do? What is that? That's why the sloka I started to. If Bhagavan is happy with me, if Bhagavan is happy with me, with my behavior, with my etiquette, what I am doing, Bhagavan is already satisfied. 
then what I can do by showing a renunciation to you? By torn cloth and everything, eh? what I can do? If Bhagavan is already satisfied with you, what I can show by doing tapasya, acid and penance, what utility? If Bhagavan is not satisfied with you, if Bhagavan is not satisfied with me, then any amount of astuity and finances I can try to do, if Bhagavan is not satisfied, what utility? That is the main thing. Follow. If Bhagavan is there inside and outside, if Bhagavan is there always, if I can see Bhagavan everywhere, anywhere you look, I can see Bhagavan. If I can see Bhagavan everywhere, everywhere, then what is the utility of my external tapasya? If I cannot discover Bhagavan inside, outside, all vacant, what is the utility of my astuity and finances? That is the main key point, is called key point to Hari Bhajan. Gauriya Bhajan, that is the most vital thing. If you can utilize all your body, mind, belongings, anything, whatever you have, even your children, husband, anything, if you can utilize properly for Krishna Seva, that is called success. That Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us this very important thing. But Mayamadi, they are always busy with the renunciation. They always speak. Vedanta Bhakchesh Sada Ramantam Kopin Bantam Khalu Bhakya Bantam Very lucky. You are only with, you are only, uh, you are leading your light with your Kopin only. No, you are not even clothed. Popat speaking, Popat wearing overcoat. Popat wearing overcoat. Your hair is a tat or everything. And in front of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Viceroy who came. Big. So, for Hari Bhajan, Prabhupada many times told, for Hari Bhajan we have to do everything, each and every of our action. But Mayavadi always busy with this thing. They think we have renunciation, that is sufficient. What you can do with it? You are doing astuity and penance. What is the utility of Krishna? If Jasodama now speaking, I cannot cook anything, I cannot do anything, I only I can sit and do tapasya. If Jasodama is speaking, I can do only tapasya today. And I cannot see what Gopal eating or sitting, whatever I can. Then Bhagavan becomes satisfied. You try to understand the secrecy of bhajan. If Jasodama is speaking, well, I have no time, I can do japa. First of all, then I can cook for Krishna. He said, I'm hungry, give me quickly. <laughs> he give me quickly, I'm hungry. Radharani is speaking, I can do one lakh naam, after that I can go. <laughs> then what will happen? Eh? If Simati Radharani is speaking, I can first of all, I can complete my one lakh, you know, and go. Not that. Seva is such a secret thing that the Bhujavasi they realize, Prabhupada realize. Bhakti Thakur realize, they realize how wonder Bhakti Thakur distinguished all the time in the office writing kirtan. I wonder so much material transaction, but Bhakti Thakur no effect, no effect there in the heart of Bhakti Thakur. Distinguished in all different complaint. He is doing this. He murder. He is doing this. He is uh, all complain. All is different kind of complaint here. But Bhakti Thakur is concentrated in the lotus feet of Gauranga. Is it possible? How is it possible? We feel tired. After some seva, oh, feel tired. But they are not feeling tired. Bhakti Thakur, whole day doing different kind of seva. After that, night time, when Bhakti Thakur coming back from office, after taking bath, taking some snack, everything, after that, seven or eight o'clock for two hours, taking rest. After that, when all demon, demon they are going to sleep, Bhakti Muta wake up and what doing? Whole night. When everybody is sleeping, 
Bhakti Mundra get up and doing Harina. It's the right time to do Harina. All them on, all them on, they are sleeping now. Now peaceful world, that you can do. Bhakti Mundra do it. This way, for material world, for material world and for sadhu, conception is totally opposite. Janisha Sarvabhutanam Tassam Jagrati Sanyami. When all world discover, now it is night time, we must take rest. But those who are Sanyami, those who are doing bhajan, night time they are, they are sleeping, they are doing harina. Janisha Sarvabhutanam Tassam Jagrati Sanyami. Jassam Jagrati Bhutani Sanisha Pashwata Mune. When material people, they are very, very alert about profit and loss. I am going to invest there 25 rupees. How I can get? What I can get? First of all, you say, then I can. They are busy. Before investment, anything, any material thing, they are, think, they are thinking about, calculating about their personal interest. What I can get? I can give energy. So material people, when they are alert, they are not sleeping, alert about profit and loss account. And they are sadhu, they are closing their eyes. What he can do? Utility. Sadhu, they are closing. Hey, useless. This way, there is a major difference between the conception of material people and sadhus. Be careful about it. So, what wrong in it? If, if our Sarvam Vartajajo, he is Mayabadi. He never tested bhakti. What is called bhakti, one drop of slight test, he never took. All along, big pandit, huh? who is bigger than me? Many pandit was given final treatment by Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Here in Navadip, you see, Navadip, one pandit came, Kesab Kashmiri, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, very small boy, I mean, a student. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to teach uh, with friends, gossiping there at the bank of Ganga, not material gossiping. Uh, they have some idea, not material gossiping. So, then Kesav Kasmari uh, coming that way and meeting with Mahaprabhu, sitting with all, you know, devotees, I mean friends, students. In the meantime, Kesav Kasmari coming there, big Pandit, he is going to stand, looking at Mahaprabhu, very nice looking. Because Mahaprabhu means some. If there is so many sun god, still you can identify Mahaprabhu, so bright. So, okay, sir. oh, I heard about you. You are Nimai. Yes, I am. My name is sir. I heard about you because you have your proficiency in Sanskrit grammar. Those who are small boys reading, so small boy reading grammar, you have uh, you are very vast, proficient ever. So okay, nice. Then he liked to test Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu asking, well, I heard about your reputation. I heard about your report. You are great pandit. So I like to hear something from. What you can hear? You are small boy. What do you know? How much your education? What you can understand? Oh, I have no education, but still I like to hear. Uh, what you like to hear? Uh, could you please uh, recite uh, the glorification of Ganga? Well, about Ganga? Uh, yes. He started glorifying Ganga like wind, like wind, you know? Uh, Ravan, you know Ravan? Ravan is Rakhas. He was, he was big Pandit according to material conception. Because Pandit, I already explained what is called min, meaning Pandit. Ravan was big pandit. Every day Ramban used to do arati of arati of Sankar Bhagavan. Every day Bharwali, he, are, he, are, he is making stotra. Mani new new. Today he is doing arati with new stotra. And when come, automatically he is picking out of mouth. Automatically, like wind, Ravan is to speak and every day doing arati. Ah, now today this arati kirtan. Tomorrow, new Sanskrit kirtan. So, Pandit. Ravan wrote one Tandav Stotra. Very joking. Tandav Stotra. Man, Shankar Bhagavan went dancing like Tandav, like mad. About that, 
Ravan already wrote one. I have that. Even you can, big, big Pandit, they cannot even pronounce. They cannot pronounce so heavy. Tandav Nitya. So don't think uh, they are, you know. But still, what is the utility? So that big Pandit is reciting Ganga Stotram, Mahaprabhu hearing. After hearing, he is going to stop. Mahaprabhu, become, Mahaprabhu speaking. Oh, so nice. After speaking, could you please point out there is some mistake? Here? Eh? Mistake? What do you mean? Eh? You are a small boy, not even clear idea about Sanskrit grammar. How you can detect? Actually, I am not a uh, Pandit. I am a small boy, but actually I heard something from different sources. I heard some, uh, according to that, I find some mistake is there. Mistake there? And how you can remember? I recite like wind. How you can? Mahaprabhu wanted to hide himself. Actually, by the mercy of Saraswati, by the blessing of Saraswati, you can recite like wind. Uh, by the mercy of Saraswati, somebody can remember also. <laughs> somebody can also remember. Like Saraswati Kipa, you can recite like wind. Also out of that, somebody has, by the mercy of Saraswati, can develop that kind of power to rememorize. Now you can speak. What stroke there is mistake? Then Mahaprabhu started pointing out one verse. There Mahaprabhu pointing out there is four mistake, minimum. Minimum four mistake. After that, the Pandi, Pandit gone mad. Mahaprabhu particularly pointing out, you are speaking Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani means, one example I can give because so much time I cannot give. Bhavani Bharta means, Bhavani, Bhavani means, Bhavani means, what do you mean Bhavani? Bhavani means Bhavo Sankar, his wife. Bhavani, this word itself meaning, Bhavani, this word itself meaning that Sankar Bhagavan is there, wife of Sankar Bhagavan, in name is Bhavani, Bhavo Bhavani. So you, Mahaprabhu pointing out, Bhavani itself is clear. Bhavani, this word itself is clear that she is the wife of Sankar. So again you are speaking Bhavani Bharta, Bharta means husband. Bharta means husband. So Bhavani means already wife of Sankar. So you are using double. Bhavani Bharta. That is one mistake. Pandit become mad. Oh my God. How this small boy detect problem? After pointing out so much mistake, then Mahapu requesting, could you please recite something else? Then Pandit cannot recite. He feels nervous. Pandit becomes so much nervous, he cannot recite anything. His sweat coming out of his body. And then Mahaprabhu, out of his humble attitude, now oh, you are actually honorable person, big Pandit. What we can understand, small one? Well, you can go to home, then tomorrow again we can discuss. Then Pandit going to home, whole night doing japa of Saraswati. You are going to insult me in front of a small boy? That is your kipa? Eh? You're speaking to Saraswati, complaining. Doing mantra java Saraswati and complaining, this is the kipa you have done to me. In front of a small boy, I am defeated. Then Saraswati, you foolish, he is not small boy. He is my husband. Bhagavan Krishna. Eh? Yes, he is not small boy. You think he is small boy. Not small boy. He is Krishna himself. How you can expect in front of my in front of Krishna, my husband, I can show my proficiency? Naturally, in front of my Prabhu, I can be. That's why I could not, uh, uh, you know, I could not appear in, inside your tongue that time. I disappeared. Oh, you go and take shelter onto a lotus feet of that Mahaprabhu immediately. Then morning time, before sunrise, that Pandit running and coming to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu said, so early in the morning, what you are? But now I come. Now I come to know who you are, who I am. I am ordinary. No, I come to know. If please excuse me, pray, Pastor Dandavad, 
Finally, Mahapu bless and speaking, giving advice that your pandita, you have big knowledge of sastra, everything. That knowledge you should not utilize wrong way. You should not utilize wrong way. Your, you have your power, vidya, vidya bal, power of vidya. But that you should not use it wrong way. You are collecting certificate from everybody. Hey, give me certificate that you are defeated. Hey, you give me certificate. In Vrindavan also, in front of Rupa Goswami somebody, hey, you write, uh, you write uh, that you are defeated or, or you will have to sit with me for fighting. Rupa Goswami was thinking, what I can give time? I have, I, I, I have no time. I have, I, do, I have to give time for Krishna Bhajan. So he is going giving certificate. Okay, I am defeated to you. Go, go certificate. You can wash that certificate and drink water every morning. You can wash the certificate and drink water and feel happy. Go, go. But Jibu Goswami Bhatt could not tolerate. Jibu Goswami Bhatt could not tolerate. Jibu Goswami Bhatt wanted to give fitting answer. So many incidents. Another time, Bhallava Charjo also wanted to show some supremacy. I am. Oh, I can, uh, I can uh, edit your writing. Unnecessarily. Jibu Goswami writing one book. Jibu Goswami Bhatt uh, playing hand fan, hand fan, you know, hand fan, hand fan. And Rupa Goswami writing. In the meantime, Balab Acharya coming. What you are writing? Actually, I am writing this book. Okay, I can edit that book. Edit that book? Who asks you to edit? So much adversity. Jiva Goswami has become very angry. Huh? Edit? What kind of mistake there? He is writing so that you are going to pass this kind of river. So much adversity. So Jibu Goswami wanted to give fitting answer. Jibu Goswami wanted to give I am not going in detail. Jibu Goswami speaking. Excuse me, if you never mind, what fault you have seen in the writing of my Gurudev, Rupa Goswami Pad. So that you, you are speaking, you can... What do you mean? I mean to say, what mistake you have seen in the writing of my Gurudev, Rupa Goswami So that you were speaking. So much adversity. Then the big fighting took place between Jiva Goswami Bhatt and Balla Bhatta. At the bank of Jamuna. Big fighting. Balla Bhatta speaking, he's going to break. He's speaking, break everything. All. Oh. After that, Balla Bhatta thinking, who that small boy is? Who that small boy is so powerful, Papre, is coming back to Rupa Goswami Bhatt, not speaking about the altercation took place, only speaking, actually, who that boy is, the small boy I saw is making hand pen. Actually, what to say, I feel Sai is my disciple, actually. Oh, nothing to say, gone. So, Jibu Goswami Bhatt could not tolerate. So here, Ballo, Ballo, our Ballavacharya was giving fitting and many times. Even in Nilachal, Nilachalaya Mahaprabhu, there also we can see. Ballo Bhattu, one time, Ballo, Ballo, Ballo Bhattu came. He wanted to teach something to Vaishnava, so much adversity. He wanted to teach something. He wanted to decide something in front of Mahaprabhu. Oh, I have written this. If you can hear it, Mahaprabhu said, I am actually foolish. I am uneducated. I cannot run. You go recite this to some other place. I am actually, I have no, uh, that much, um, um, education is not there. So your writing I can understand. This is my problem. Finally, we can discuss this point in course of time. Now, here actually, Sarvama Bhattacharya Jyot thinking is the topmost. He is suffering from superiority complex. Sarvamata is just suffering from superiority complex. Somebody is uh, sometimes suffering from inferiority complex. This is also bad. So we are not in favor of superiority complex or we are always aprakito. <laughs> so this way, he, star he started reciting Vedanta in front of him. For seven days continuously, Mahaprabhu not speaking yes or no, nothing. Only hearing, closing eyes, hearing. 
after seven days, Sarva Matijaji, you are hearing for seven days, no good, bad, nothing, you understand, not, not passing any remark. I don't understand what you, is there inside your mind? My, Mahaprabhu was saying, actually, what to speak? When you, when you speak the main sloka of Vedanta, then I understand. First sloka of Vedanta, Vedanta, there is four parts. Eh? There you can find first sloka. First. Janma Dasa Jatu is second. First is inquiry. Athato Brahma Jigyasa. You must understand at least these two and the third, three, not many. Then after that I can go on. When you open Vedanta, first you can find one slope. That is called Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Athato Brahma Jigyasa. After that you can hear Janma Dasu Yato. After that you can hear that, he, that you know, Hearing Sabda Brahma is the man. Shite Sutis to Sabda Mulatvat, it is there. After some slokas, there. So, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, what you, what you can understand? If there is written, that Athato Brahma Jigyasa, if you are uh, having knowledge, complete knowledge of Sanskrit, what you can understand? Athato Brahma Jigyasa means, is inner meaning there. Otho, like any Sanskrit writing, you cannot start with but. But and it is coming in between. But be, before, in the starting but, you cannot write. So, Athata Brahma Jigasa means after realizing the instability of this material world. After realizing the instability of this material world. Then, some question can arise inside your heart. If life is really unstable, if everything going to going to be destroyed, then what is the utility of this life? What is the value of my life? What is the goal of my life? That is why it is Athato Brahma Jigasa after watching the most unstable world. All around. Oh, he is dying, he is, he is, he is dying. He is dying. Everybody. What I did, they told, na? Ahanyani bhutani gachanti ho yamalayam Seisham stavaram ichami Kimaschat jamate parama Everybody dying. But those living, I cannot die. Everybody, everybody dying. Palahari, Haribol. But those who are living, I cannot die. Ah, you can live forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot realize. That is the most strange. So, Athata Brahma Jigasa means after realizing from heart the unstable world, all for only two days, only for two days, this world. After that, where I can be taken? What is my future after leaving this body? This kind of conception not growing inside me. I can discuss this point in the beginning, tomorrow. This kind of conception not coming. I am not thinking. I am going to leave body. Where I can go after that? Now I have my children, husband, everything. After leaving, where I can go? Where I can be taken? This kind of conception should be there inside. So, Athato Jigasa means after realizing the instability of this world, whole world, then you can feel some reaction and some question can arrive that is called self-interrogation. Follow. It's called self-interrogation like Sanatana Goswami Path putting this question in front of Mahaprabhu at Ilhabad. Mahaprabhu Sanatana Goswami Kasi Baranasi. Ilhabad actually Rupa Goswami Path. His teaching was done, Rupa Goswami Path, Ilhabad. And Sanatana in Kasi Baranasi. Who am I? Prabhu, Prabhu, who am I? Who am I? I don't know my identity. You don't know. Your name is Sanatan. People, you know, Dabir Khas. You are the Prime Minister of Bengal, you know, King. No, 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 no. I am not going to, I am less interested. 
some doctor, some doctor, he was my friend, friend in the sun in bhajan line. <laughs> he, he is actually Griyastha, he used to come to me. Now he liked to meet with me, but I have no time to meet with him, I can meet. But you will have to discuss everything with Torun or somebody. I cannot discuss with anybody, no point. But he feel very sorry, he feel insulted because I am not directly responding, but I have no way. He feel insulted. He wanted to identify himself as my name is this doctor this. In Harikatha, I know he is here in Harikatha. I give answer, still today, after leaving home, you have not taken Santa, sannyas. You are leading not Banprasa life, whatever you like. I don't know. You have your money, make one bhajan kuti in other. But you are still today interested to identify yourself as doctor. How we can do? After leaving everything, you have no right to identify yourself as doctor. That is your previous identity. Previous, how, how, why I uh, speak to him? How you, how you are going to you know, identify yourself as doctor? How somebody can identify themselves this way, that way? It's a wrong conception, no? It's not good. So, Sanatan Goswami anyway cannot identify himself as a Prime Minister of Bengal, Bengal King. That's why, inner meaning that Sanatan Goswami asking, Who am I? I don't know. Ke ami kene more jare tapotoy. Why I am? Eh, affected by all the three modes of nature, all the time giving punishment. Ke ami kene more jare tapotoy. Iha nahi jani koi shemor. How to get the solution? How to get the solution of this problem? I don't know. That is called self interrogation. Hello. Athato Brahma Jigasa mean self interrogation. Athato Brahma Jigasa mean Athato Sabdo Jigasa. Again, problem can arise. Athato Brahma Jigasa mean Athato Sabdo Jigasa. Because Brahma coming in the form of Sabdo. Hello. Athato Brahma Jigasa mean Sabdo Jigasa. Athato Brahma Jigasa mean you are asking about Shabda Brahma. Clarification of everything. Anadi nidanam brahmo sabda tattam jadaksharam nivartate artho bhavena pakriya yagato yataha. Brahma khando, you can hear. Anadi nidanam brahmo. Here it is written. Brahma jigasa means sabda jigasa. Right? If you are asking about Krishna, surely you like to know all sabda brahmo. You like to hear, you like to realize of Sabda inner meaning, then you can realize Krishna's life. But if Krishna is himself coming in front of what you can understand. So, Athato Brahma Jigasa, it is directly indicated. Athato Brahma Jigasa means Athato Sabda Jigasa. Anadi Nidanam Brahma Sabda Tatcham Jadaksharam Nibartate Artho Bhaveno Pakriya Yagato Yataha. Sabda Tatcham Jadaksharam. Mane Brahma, you can get in the form of one word. Om, follow. You can get Brahma in the form of one. Also, you can find in the form of Mahamantra. Is Mahamantra Hare Krishna? You can get Ekakshar, Bhagavan speaking in Gita. Ekaksharam Brahma Mantra. In Gita, you can find. Om Iti Ekaksharam Baharan. Mam Anusmaram Do Jo Tejati Deham Sayati Paramam Gatim Gita Bhagavan speaking. Om Iti Ekaksharam Krishna Himself. It is Brahma. You don't know all creation, Prakit or Prakit coming from this word. You say only one word? Yes. Only one word. Brahma. And Mahamantra is also Brahma. Also Brahma. Or sometime in Vrindavan Dham, Radhe Shyam, Radhe Shyam, 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 Radhe Radhe, they are speaking. Hello. They are starting this way. So all Brahma. So 
Mayavadi, they have wrong conception about Brahma. They think Brahma is useless. Yesterday I told, I can speak some point so that you can laugh by hearing the conception of Mayavadi. You can start laughing. <laughs> they like one, one, two point I can speak. Mayavadi. Mayavadi thinking, Mayavadi thinking, those who are already attending the feeling of Brahma, him, he himself feeling I am Brahma. I mean to say, he, among Mayavadi, this conception going, that in course of doing our practice of mantra, we can become ourselves Brahma. So if he is going to feel that I am already Brahma, Brahma mean, Brahma, Brahma mean, a yeah, direct feeling that is impersonal bomb. If he is going to feel that way, surely he cannot act as guru. Try to understand the funny, most funny. If he is, if he is Siddha, Siddha in the sense, his realization that I am Brahma is successful. If he is going to realize I am Brahma, then he cannot have any distinction between you and me. Try to understand. If he is going to feel Brahma, all Brahma, all Brahma, everything. Like a Santo Goswami example, I see. Why are you appearing? And you are going to beat me. I am beating you. You are Brahma. I am Brahma. The stick is also Brahma. Everything Brahma. That means your conception is wrong. You have a dual conception. You think all Brahma, barbarly, but you cannot feel. Bhakti Thakur, one day, Bhakti Mahatma one day, in his service period, one day in the guise of an ordinary man. Bhakti Mahatma in the guise of an ordinary man. Everybody knowing Bhakti Mahatma In the guise of Bhakti Mahatma in the ordinary man, Bhakti Mahatma with Prabhupada, Bhimala Prasad, a small boy, very small boy, taking, let us go, let us go uh, to North Calcutta. We heard that one sadhu, he is going Brahma Siddhi, Bhakti was speaking, this is very, there is rumor, there is rumor, rumor all around. That that, that man is attaining Brahma Siddhi. So let us go, we can go and test. Bhakti Tagore in the guise of an ordinary man, with Bhakti Tagore going, going there. And after that, Bhakti Tagore entering that room, I mean the man who demanding is Brahma Siddhi. And everybody, everywhere there is rumor, rumor. All around. Oh, it's Brahma Siddhi, great sadhu. A sadhu, this word is not applicable here. For yogi, this sadhu, this word not applicable. For jnani, this sadhu, word is not. Sadhu, this word is only applicable those who are following Bhagavad Dharma, those who are practicing bhakti. Follow? Sadhu, you cannot say, some yogi coming. It's yogi. But sadhu, you cannot speak. Sadhu means Shad Dharma. Try to understand. Though you don't know, understand Sanskrit and Bengali, but still you can realize. Sadhu means sh mean those who are following Shad Dharma. Those who are following Shad Dharma, Bhagavad Dharma, eternally present, Sanatan Dharma, they are Sadhu. Those who are Jogi Gani, they are not Sadhu. Sadhu is not, word is not applicable everywhere. So, that one yogi or whatever you can say, this is attending Brahma Siddhi, Bhakti Mahatma going there, Bhakti Mahatma standing, Bhakti Mahatma at Prabhupada, small boy, watching, not speaking anything. Very silently backside watching. He is watching who is speaking what and what reply he is giving. Try to understand. Very intelligent. Bhakti Mahatma himself not speaking. He is watching and somebody putting question, he is giving answer. Bhakti Mahatma can realize. Somebody going to give some money. Oh, no money, no money. Nami, I am burning. He is going to put money inside my bed. My whole body burning. He wants to prove he is so Siddha that even money he cannot touch. Follow. Whereas our great Bhakti Mahatma is catching money and give for Krishna. So, you see the you see the difference. They like to prove. Oh, we yeah, are so great detachment is there. Even our guru cannot touch even money. You see how much siddhi, money. Oh, oh money, money. My hand is burning. 
Hello. Where has Prabhupada Bhakti Mandir taken? Nge, jo, oh, Seva. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, great sadhu. He only told me to discuss something about them. I can, today I can do or can tomorrow. About the practical experience. Madhav Goswami, how wanted to convert Mayavadi. So now this point, you know, Bhakti Mandir was hearing. What is, ah, oh, my hand is burning, money is there, he put inside my bed, I cannot sleep. Want to prove that he is Siddha. Then Bhakti Thakur smiling, speaking. Still today, there is dual conception inside him. No Brahma Siddhi. If, if money is there, you are burning, that means you are not getting Brahma Siddhi. Money is Brahma, you are Brahma, who is giving money, he is Brahma. Bed is also Brahma, your body is also Brahma. Then where from we find a distinction? Bhakti Mata laughing, coming out, and no Brahma Siddhi. All foolish world, foolish world, they are running Brahma Siddhi. Useless, no Brahma Siddhi. Brahma Siddhi means money is also Brahma. Eh? Who is giving money, he is also Brahma. You are also Brahma. Bed is also Brahma. Spoon is also Brahma, everything Brahma. And where from you are going to di distinguish between uh, money, this, that's why. Well. This is useless. Actually, by the, I told you, one day, maybe five days ago, one Mayavadi I met. Met mean I'm not going to meet with you. In the road, I'm going rope away, going somewhere. I find him. He looking at me. I find some power in him. But that power has nothing to do with bhakti. That power is there. But that power has no, nothing to do with bhakti. But power is there. Because he is doing some Australian finances. Hello. What Mahaprabhu told, na? Those demons can also do Australian finances. What is the utility? Really so? Really so? What is the utility? So, our Guru Bhargava never teaching us this way. You have dual conception. But where the same day you say you have Brahma Siddhi. How Brahma Siddhi? Brahma said this way. So, this way, there is so many examples I can give, one by one, then you can understand it's all false. Somebody doing some astutian penance. When somebody doing some astutian penance, only no bhakti. No bhakti, suppose no bhakti. But still, in Shastra it is written, those who are yogi, those are gani, they must mix some bhakti with their practice. That I should not forget to speak. When somebody is going to attain Siddhi in their Gyan mark or Bhakti mark, the Siddhanta is that he must mix mix a little bit bhakti. Like you are going to drink uh, going to drink tea, tea. So you uh, you are going to mix some mix some sugar. Then you can feel testy. Similarly, whenever somebody doing yoga, jnana, whatever they are doing, they will have to. They will. They are. They are, It is. It is a. It is a must. If they are not going to take shelter of, maybe for time being, maybe for time being, but still they will have to take shelter of bhakti. Then they can get the result of their yoga, jnana, everything. If at all they are not going to take shelter of bhakti, no smell, then they cannot do So anyway, he is doing some astutian penances. I look at him, I know he has done some astutian penances. His eyes can speak, so sharp eyes. When somebody is doing astutian penances, if you look at him, eyes, you can find some power is there. Not like ordinary man. So that power has nothing to do with bhakti. We are busy with two slokas I told in the beginning, Prapanchi Kateya Buddha and Anasakta So. I can explain very small way. Sarvam Vatajaju has no idea about it. But after that, he gone mad, getting the kripa. Anyway, Prapanchi Kateya Buddha with material idea. Somebody going to Give me some, give, give me some donation, not to me, to do some seva. So if I reject first time, of course if I know there is black money, I cannot accept. 
if I can come to know that black one is Asaka. But if and at all somebody giving some donation, I, I can say don't give me, that is okay. But if you at all giving forcefully, I will have to utilize for seva. I am not using for me. So, prapanchi kothaya buddhya, if somebody is asking, you are in renounce order, why you are sitting in a very glamorous room? Somebody can speak. Why not you go to a broken place and still? It's more practical. <laughs> I'm sitting not for myself. Not even a single night I stayed there in new place. No. I am only interested to do seva. So if I cannot accept this in you know, a room, nice place, then how I can speak Harikatha in front of me? Who can come to a forest with, to meet with me? Who can come? I was there in Surya Kundo. Torn clothes, everything, with one Gamcha Mata going to bake. So then people can come to me here, Harikatha. Who can come? So it's called Yukta Vairagya. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing for Yukta Vairagya. That is the formula shown by Rupa Goswami Pad. That is the formula shown by Bhakti Muttakur and Prabhupada. So, with material conception, you are going to throw away. No, 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 no. You are going No, no, nice cloth. No, I cannot use it. That is not Bhairagya. Bhairagya means you will have to do everything, each and every of your action for the seva of Bhagavan. If you can relate, if you can relate your wife, if you can relate your husband, if you can relate your children, everything with Krishna Vajan, then your household life is Golok Vrindavan. Bhakti Mataraji. Jedin Grihete Goloko Dekhi, Grihete Bhajana. Jedin Grihete Bhajana Dekhi, Grihete Goloko Bhajana. Akadashi Kirtan. You have gone through Akadashi Kirtan. That day you are Kirtan. But you forget Akadashi Kirtan. You forget. Agadashi Kirtan, you cannot remember. And there is Jedin Grihete Bhajana Dekhi, when you can discover you are doing actual perfect bhajan inside your room, then inside your room, Golok Vrindavan can appear. But that is very hard, which was possible for Bhakti Thakur, which was possible for Sivananda Sen, which was possible for Sivas Pandit. Their family, life, everything, Completely dedicated for Krishna. That is very hard. But it is possible. We know so many Griyastha Bhakta, so nice, powerful. They are staying in home. But power is so. So inside their home, they can discover Golok Vrindavan. Not easy for everybody. So, if you can relate, if you can relate each and everything with Krishna Bhajan, that is called success. You stay in your own room, no need of going in. But can you come out successful? Each and every hour of your action should be for the satisfaction of Bhagavan. Then you're staying at home, you're staying in America, Brazil, France, Italy, anywhere. No problem. But it's very difficult. Very difficult. To speak is very easy. Very difficult. So, if you can relate everything, Prapanchi Kataya Buddha Hari Sammandi Vastino, Mumukshavi, those who are Mumukshu, they are going to throw. That is called dry Vairagya. That is called dry Vairagya. That is not at all Vairagya. Dry Vairagya. Dry Vairagya can make you fall down. Dry Vairagya can make you fall down. Dairavairagya can give nothing. Dairavairagya can fall down. Big problem. Or, if you are going to grow sweet vairagya, then the sweet vairagya can, sweet vairagya can give you bhakti. Dairavairagya fall down. That's why many times Prabhupada used to say, many times Prabhupada used to say that if vairagya is Positive, I mean suitable for Krishna Bhajan. No nirvinno, no nirvinno nati shakto, no nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga asho siddhido. What Prabhupada used to say? No nirvinno, Sarvam Hattacharya has no idea. Sarvam Hattacharya has no idea about it. No nirvinno, 
nati shakta bhakti yoga bhakti yoga also siddhi do he can come out successful in bhakti yoga who has no attachment to matter and no detachment only he like he want to utilize it for papa seva no nirvinno nati shakta bhakti yoga also siddhi do this is the formula and another अनाशक्त विषयान यथार्भम पुयुंजत उदाउट एनी अटैचमेंट उदाउट एनी अटैचमेंट एनीथिंग कमिंग इन योर लाइफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज इट फॉर भगवत सेवा सपोज यू आर बिंग सो मेनी थिंग फ्रॉम योर कंट्री हाउ आई कैन इट आई हैव नो टाइम टू ड्रिंक वाटर सो आई विल हैव टू टच इट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट एमंग डिवोटिस नो अदर वे आई कैन नॉट थ्रो इट यू ब्रिंग इट फ्रॉम लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस आई हैव टू touch it na this way so i will have to utilize it proper way devotees taking mean they can get power brazilian not they can get power they can do bhajan but that brazilian not i can cannot give to some demon i cannot give to he can take and you can fight to somebody no <laughs> follow this way i can utilize i can find utilization this is the right approach Sometimes somebody taking dragon foods, dragon food, dragon food totally prohibited. Brazilian not bad, bad, not bad. One or two I can take, but dragon food is strictly prohibited for devotees. It is passionate. No, don't eat. Dragon food is very dangerous. Even strawberry, strawberry alone is good, but if with strawberry you are eating some chapati, sabji, man, dangerous. pineapple alone okay if pineapple you are going to mix some and then it can it become passionate very dangerous it cannot it can become restless feel coma be careful you don't know idea so anyway anashakta sabisayano yatharham upujanyata those are having no attachment anashakta besan whatever you are getting okay you can it will as possible All you can utilize for Krishna seva, what Pope had done, whatever property came, whatever land and property, whatever came, Pope had wanted to utilize all for Radha Govindo Gorang Mahapu seva. That you will have to understand. But Sarvo Mata Ji has no idea. He only thinking knowledge is wrong. Knowledge mean oh is big, but knowledge, what knowledge you mean? Knowledge mean I am Brahma. And all Brahma, all Maya, illusion. Oh, really? All illusion. Then your wife is also illusion. Your son is also illusion. <laughs> Why not you live? Sarva Mata Ji, do he he has his children. He has his son, daughter, wife. So why not you think all illusion? You go out. Eh? That you cannot do. But he said Brahma. Eh? How so? Going to get. Teachings to Chaitanya, young chap. How he can maintain Brahma? Well, I can help you to recite Vedanta. And now we come to this point, reciting Vedanta for seven days continuously. But Sir Mahaprabhu not giving any answer. Mahaprabhu not giving any answer. Only hearing for seven days. After that, Sir Mahaprabhu ji, you understand or not understand? You not giving any response for seven days continuously. You are hearing. what i can actually when you are speaking the a uh, shloka then i understand the meaning but when you explain then i can i am in confusion what you cannot understand my explanation then why not you speaking to me that i don't understand explain right way you are speaking so long as so long for so long i was thinking you are a very young boy young boy i have affection now i see you are a great pandit you are going to fight with me <laughs> so long as i was feeling affection a small young boy no nothing knows nothing so i can help now i discover there are great pandit eh what wrong in it then mahaprabhu started speaking this way gradually so athato brahma jigyasa i started in in one or two days i like to complete three shloka minimum three four from starting of vedanta athato brahma ji ka i speak after that janma adasya jatu after that more two or three shlokas 
then you can understand what Sarvamata is wanting to say. Even our Bhagavatam first slok is effective to understand this. Now, preliminary discussion I can do today. Mahaprabhu wanted to say, Sarvamumo, if Bhagavan is, is Bhagavan, if they don't believe. Bhagavan, Sarvamata just don't believe in Bhagavan. Sarvamata just only believe in Brahma. As per our Bhagavatam, as per our Bhagavatam, I recited this sloka. Badanti tattattabhi, badanti tattattabhi idam sattam yad jnanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavan iti shabdati. Same Bhagavan, devotee speaking Bhagavan, yogi, the thing in Brahma, and those who are, those who are uh, Gani, they are speaking Brahma, Yogi speaking Paramatma. But same. All same. Jat Brahma niskala manantama sesha bhutam. Jat Brahma niskala manantama sesha bhutam. Govindam adipurusham tamam. Brahma Sangita is a direct document. Brahma Sangita you cannot ignore. Brahma Sangita coming from Brahma. What you saw? Brahma Sangita coming from Brahma. What Brahma saw is writing. How you can be not authentic? Most authentic. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to collect Brahma Sangita from South India. That's the most authentic scripture. And another is Karnamrita, called Krishna Karnam. I can speak these topics again. Can. So Brahma Sangita and Krishna Karnamrita, Mahaprabhu collected it from South India. He is Supreme Lord. But he wanted, oh, this book is nice for devotee. He's going to take it and going to distribute those books among devotees. So, Mahaprabhu wanted to collect it. He is himself is Bhagavan. He wanted to collect it. So, Brahma speaking, what Brahma feeling is writing. Brahma out of his own experience, practical feeling writing. So, Jat Brahma Niskala Manantama Sesha Bhutam Govinda Mahadi Purusham Tama. That Govinda, I pray, eh? who is in the form of Brahma, impersonal Brahma, effulgence, which is coming out from the body of Krishna. That impersonal Brahma, effulgence, when you can cross, this is called, this is called earth, Bhubo. Bhu, it is Bhulo. This is Bhulo. This is art, material platform. Bhulo. After that, space. Bhubo. Bhur Bhubo. Maho. Bhur Bhubo. Maho Jano Tapo Shatto. All up. Follow. Wherever you go, there is some fine matter must be there, but in fine form. Follow. So, if you can cross over the limit of this material world, cross if you can cross over this material limit of the material world, that means if you can transcend Brahma Loka, then after that you can meet with Viraja, one big river, infinity, where all infinity Brahmando, like master seed, floating. Infinity Brahman. If you realize some for some time, if you, if 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 you are taken in the space and thrown out of the space, you know, jhan, what, what you can do? Suppose you are taken in the space and scientists are going to throw you from the window outside. What you can do? One chawla, chawla, one space astronaut, lady chawla, lady astronaut, she died in the space. In the space she died from India, Chawla. So, left body. So, if you just feel alone, so, really so, if I am taken in the space and thrown, outside, what I can do? Helpless. So vast this material world, so vast the material, if you, this kind of conception, I can go mad. Feeling you cannot do. Feeling also. So, if you are going to transcend that Brahma Loka, a Brahma, then you can meet with one big river. It's called Viraja. 
After that, if you can cross over, if you can cross that river and go up. Then, after crossing this river, Viroja, in Viroja, your final washing. Viroja is a Bengali word, Sanskrit word. Viroja means, Viroja means no dust or no uh, contamination should be there. Viroja, because you must be very pure. Viroja. So when you can go through that river, eh? then you can cross and wash everything, whatever residue there, smell of contamination. And after that you can go, you can find a, a, one, one impersonal Brahma effulgence, all oh, light and light, you cannot see. So light. So Brahma speaking is the impersonal Brahma effulgence, is nothing, is coming from the body of Govindo. Yad, yad Brahma Nishkala Manantam Asesha Bhutam Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam. I like to pray pranam and to lotus with that Govinda. His body effulgence coming and those foolish people, they think Brahma is only impersonal Brahma. Personified Brahma, they cannot see. That is a foolishness. Are you wait for some time? You take, accept bhakti, then you can see, but they are not. Oh, after this, oh, is the final, final conclusion. Hey, final conclusion, Brahma. The Brahma, okay, Brahma. And Paramatma, they are going to partial expression of Bhagavata. Partial expression of Bhagavata is Paramatma. What is the utility? You meet with Paramatma. What seva you are doing? Nothing doing, only watching Paramatma. Seva you are not doing, na? So, Sarva Vatajajo making a blunder mistake. He is going to forget that Brahma can never be, uh, Brahma can be impersonal, but this is also. But inside that Jyotir, Abhyantare, Upanishadar, there is personified Brahma. And we Jivas never like to destroy the relationship. We Jivas, we Jivas never like to destroy the relationship with Bhagavan. We like to maintain the relationship. Bhagavan is our worshipable object and we are servant. And Mayavadi, they like to destroy it. No, there is no. Who is Brahma? I am also Sam. So they are actually, they are actually traitor. They are number one traitor. Traitor, you know? Traitor, number one. They are getting everything from Bhagavan. They like to ignore. Oh, useless. Useless. Brahma. They like to declare themselves Brahma. They like to break, destroy the eternal relationship between Jivas and Bhagavan. What is the eternal? You are, we are devotee, we are servant, you are our possible object. But when they are going to destroy this, this you know, relationship, what they can get? What they can get? They can get anything? What benefit? Can you can speak me? If I myself become sweet ball, then who can test sweet ball? If I myself become sweet ball, then for test, to get the test of sweet ball, somebody need tester. Testing is one kind of, uh, one kind of your effort you are going to test. So, you are going to test, going to test that, you are going to get the test of sweet ball. Somebody has to get the test. And tongue is there, is relishing, enjoying. So these three, these three separate things, these three separate things must be there. Otherwise, what you can do? If you yourself become sweet ball, who can taste? So eternally, there should be three things. One is Bhagavan, eternally present, and Bhagavan is the source of all rasa, raso, vaisha. Raso Vaisha, Raso Evahi Ayam Labdha Nandi Bhavati Upanishad. In Upanishad it is written. Raso Vaisha, all directly or indirectly, infinity rasa. Directly or indirectly, all infinity rasa, wherever they are, all coming from Bhagavan. Raso Vaisha. Raso Evahi Ayam. He is the source of all rasa. And those who are getting rasa, surely by the help of this, Rasamai Govinda. Raso Vaisha, Raso Evahi, Ayam, Labdha Nandi Bhavati. By getting Rasa, 
from the source, directly, indirectly, we are getting ananda. Any kind of enjoyment in the material world, even drinking wine, I am getting enjoyment. This is also indirectly coming from Maya Devi. Indirectly. Any kind of dirty enjoyment, what you are doing, all indirectly coming from Bhagavan. But directly, devotees can get enjoyment. Directly, devotees can get enjoyment. They can feel prasadam, enjoy harikatha, they can do chant harinam. Very rare. Very rare. Like insect, all jivas there. Countless jivas. But lucky, you are, they are unlucky. They are not lucky. They can waste their human life. For human life is only meant for Hari Bhajan. I can discuss tomorrow. Hari Bhajan is only meant for, uh, okay, this uh, human body is only meant for Hari Bhajan. Nidhe homadhyam sulabham sudurlabham plabham sukalpam guru karna dharam. I can discuss tomorrow. Anyway, so we can discuss first three, four sloka in the beginning of Vedanta. Then I can try to show what mistakes Sarvamata is speaking. Sarvamata is fighting directly with Mahaprabhu. No! How it can be so? It is written in Sast. Mahaprabhu say, You are Pandit. Why are you are not going to consider this point first? This way, Mahaprabhu finally were successful to mold him. Finally, Mahaprabhu was successful to mold Sarvamata. And after that, Sarvamata started writing hundreds of sloka. I already published. Like wind. After getting Kipa, Sarvamata now realized what is Bhagavan. Started reciting. I can speak anyway. So, uh, today you will have to take rest anyway. You cannot uh, uh, so much problem. So, uh, with what sloka I started? With sloka, we shook. Huh? Huh? Aradhito yadi bhagavan tapasas tataskim. Naradhito yadi bhagavan tapasas tataskim. Bhagavan means Hari. Aradhito yadi. Aradhito yadi Hari tapasas tataskim. Naradhito yadi Hari tapasas tataskim. Antar Vahir Jodhi Hari Hi Tapasas Tathas King Nantar Vahir Jodhi Hari Hi Tapasas Tathas King Vanchakal Padur Shikhi Pasindh Bhavi Patitanang Pavanakyo Vaishnava Bhavi